Hi, good afternoon. It's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm going to give you a quick video walk around of this 2016 on a 66 plate. It is the uh, legend that is the Renault Traffic 1.6 DCI. It is a business edition and it is the Euro 6 version as well. So when it comes to your ULEZ LEZ zone and your clean air zone charges, this van is um, obviously free for all of those. Um, it is a one keeper from new vehicle. It has covered 99,000 miles. It's got some nice few extras on it. So you've got some lovely racking in the back. You've got some security locks on the side of it. We have reverse parking sensors on it as well. Normal specification for businesses, electric windows, electric mirrors, and your Bluetooth telephone and music. Um, the purpose of this video is to give you a warts and all video walk around of the vehicle so you get an idea of exactly what it is that you are buying okay um, we sell an awful lot of our vans just from people uh, watching these videos and then either leaving a deposit and collecting or getting the vehicle delivered out to them so let's get going with your condition Getting up here on the roof, the roof is looking pretty straight and tidy to be fair, no roof rack on it when it came into us. You do have the obligatory health and safety air vent on the back of the roof nowadays. Um, windscreen, windscreen is in good all round condition. There are no marks, uh, no, uh, sorry, heavy stone chipping or anything, cracks or anything like that that's gonna cause either of us any, any grief when it comes to MOT time. The bonnet uh, is in good overall condition. They don't massively chip up these things. Um, so it's in nice condition, no major stone chipping. We have a little bit of a ding there on the bonnet. It is minute. Uh, I can get the dent man on it to be fair. I could probably even do that one myself. Um, it is there, we'll, uh, we'll get that bit sorted out on it before it goes out the door. But as you can see, good overall condition. Your front of the bonnet, your front grills, front of the front bumper, number plates, etc. Those were all in great condition, uh, no apparent damage. Uh, your passenger side headlamp unit, again, that's all good. And your passenger side front bumper corner is in good condition with no scuffing. If we just move the camera along the side of the vehicle from this angle, hopefully you can see. I'm looking down at now, everything looks straight and tidy. No major dents, uh, dings or anything like that. Coming around to your driver's side of the vehicle, again, your driver's side headlamp unit is in good order. And again, your driver's side front bumper corner is in good order with no scuffing. Having a look down the side of the vehicle again from this angle. And again, on the driver's side, no, no major dramas to point out to you, all looking good. Driver's side front wing, side repeater, all good. The alignment of your wing to your door is all looking good. Your driver's side front wheel, is it a factory steel wheel with a factory hubcap on it uh, and you have a continental tyre uh, I think it's actually sat on four continental tyres to be fair low to tyre tread depth on there as part of our PDI process you will get exactly what your tyre tread depths are mirror unit all looking good no damage upper and lower mirror glasses are all good driver's side door glass that's all looking good and the driver's side door itself all looking pretty straight and tidy as well. Look at your alignments of your door to your quarter and you can see that all the lines up as it should do. Driver's side door handles all good. And then just have a look at your door edges as I bring the video camera down. You can see there's no major damage to them. All looking pretty good. A Couple of minor touch-ins, uh, but nothing major. And then looking at your sills, the sills are in good condition, low down uh, with no apparent damage. And then your plastic protective strips going down the side of the vehicle. If we're being really fussy, the long one has just some minor surface scratches on there. They really aren't stand out. As you can see, that's about a meter away from the van. You can hardly see them. So it will be supplied with them like that. Mid quarter, all looking pretty good. And then your rear quarter, again, upper to lower. All looking good. I know I'm battling with the shadows. It's the sunlight at the moment, but all looking pretty good. Again, driver's side rear is a factory steel with a factory hubcap and a continental tyre. And again, that continental tyre has loads of tyre tread depth, as you can see. Your rear quarter. So if we go from here, looking down the side of the vehicle, a few things to note. A, 
as I've already said, very straight and tidy. The white paintwork has a nice mirror finish to it, nice gleam to it, it's not faded. Um, you know, it looks respectable, doesn't it? And then your plastic quarter parts here, coming down, rear light unit, etc. all looking good. Your driver's side rear bumper corners all good with no scuffing. The rear fog light and reverse lights all good. And then to the back of the van, we have rear barn doors. Those are on a 50-50 split. And considering it's the working end of the vehicle, it's in pretty good condition to be fair. High level brake light, all good. Again, bringing down, looking down at your door edges. No major damage, scuffs, stuff like that. A couple of, couple of touch-ins that we've carried out on it, but all good. You do have the additional locks for van security locks on the back end, which is a nice touch. Those are 168 quid plus VAT fitted each. So that's saving you that. Uh, rear bumper has factory parking sensors in it. Your rear reflectors in those bumpers are all looking good. The bumper itself is in good overall condition uh, with no major wear or tear. There are minor marks in there, but nothing major. Uh, now this is lovely in the back here. Um, you've got some very nice racking um, on both sides of the vehicle. You've got a proper nice Altro floor. Um, your racking obviously has these shelves that lift up and lower down. So really good for storing stuff in. Looks like you've got some kind of internal uh, ladder rack system there. I guess that's fairly specific to some sort of ladder but yeah something going on there we've already got the air vent as we noticed you've got the nice uh, inverter at the front there as well so that might is good for obviously charging up your power tools and really just really nice storage really yes it's done a job in here i'm not going to pretend it's brand new but to be quite frank with you it's very very respectable inside of your rear doors yes there's some wear and tear marks on there but again respectable for the age and the miles of the vehicle it's just handy, you know, go straight to work with that, can't you? Load up your kit, off your toddle. Passenger side, again, looking down the side of the vehicle from this angle, very straight. We have rear quarters, plastics, all looking pretty good. Light units, no damage. Rear bumper corner here, all good with no scuffing on it. And then your upper rear quarter this side, that's all looking good. Your sliding door rail, as you can see, is in good condition. And then your lower rear quarter, this side, again, in good condition. Factory steel. Um, right, so you'll notice the keen-eyed members of you will notice we've got a Vauxhall badge on these. I've nicked two hubcaps off the Vauxhall Vivaro we have back at base to do the photos, okay? I have two genuine Renault hubcaps on order, believe it or not. One has got to come from France, one is coming from the north of the country. They should be with us in the next 24 hours or so. So um, it will have two fresh Renault hubcaps fitted to it, okay? Don't like to try and pull any wool over your eyes. Uh, Continental tyre on the back end here. That has loads of tyre tread depth. Sliding door this side is in good overall condition. So again, we've got an additional locks for vans security lock there door handles looking good if i stand back here have a look at your alignment of your panels everything's looking good from that point of view we do have this mark on the door here okay um so there is a mark there on the door your lower sills and plastics are in good condition your passenger side front door glass is all good the passenger door itself is all good and your passenger door lock and handles all good. We do have a cracked mirror here. We will get that replaced before it goes out the door, but the mirror unit itself, nice and secure. And uh, yeah, I mean, there's nothing major on it at all, okay? And then passenger side front wing and side repeater, that's all looking good. And passenger side steel wheel, factory hubcap, Continental tires. So you've got four Continental tires. They've all got loads of tire tread depth on them. All looking pretty good. Opening up your sliding door, slides back, holds into place nicely. Your sliding door shuts are in clean condition. The door rubbers, sealant rubbers are all good. And then your side loading step. This gets full of um, 
I'm looking for a polite word, rubbish. Um, but as you can see, we clean them properly. We actually remove this step clean underneath it and then uh, put it back into place. Factory bulkhead hasn't done a lot of hard work, has it? There's that inverter giving you three pin power, uh, etc. There you go, we've got a bit of health and safety. Free fire extinguisher for you. Bit of additional LED lighting in the back end there. All looking nice, isn't it? Opening up your passenger door. So here, first of all, is your fuel cap uh, with your add blue filler. And then your door card, first of all, shall we do? Is in good condition with no major damage, all looking clean and tidy. Your entry seals and plastics on this side are good. The rubber flooring inside the vehicle is in good condition as well. Glove box, fascia of the glove box, nice and tidy. Inside there you have your book pack and your locking wheel nut for your spare wheel. Stop anybody nicking that. Air vents are good. Top of the dashboard, again, clean and tidy. USB point here, we've got a new one on order, okay? So that will be sorted before it goes out the door. Headlining inside the van's good. And then your passenger seat trim, as you can see, nice and tidy. No major stains, smells, fag burns, anything like that. Bonnet puller, just under there, just pull that. And then opening up your bonnet is opening this catch just to the right of your Renault badge. And then underneath your bonnet, there's your overview, nice and tidy. Having a look under here, we have a fuse box, we have battery under there. You do have a crack on your battery case and it doesn't make any difference to the, to the vehicle or the running of it, to be fair, it is cracked. Uh, brake fluid is here, power steering fluid is here. You can probably see the uh, clear as they should be. Oil filler, coolant is here. As you can see, no contamination in coolant, all looking good. We have oil dipstick there as well. We have your windscreen wash there, air boxes in there as well. Now the car, the van itself has had two services by the Renault dealers. Uh, it is due a service now. We will service it before it goes out the door. Um, it'll have, when I say we service it, I don't just do an oil and filter change and wipe its arse. We do oil, oil filter, air filter, fuel filter, and pollen filter. We link it up to the diagnostics, make sure there's nothing hidden in the background that's gonna cause either of us any grief. Um, and we do a 110 point PDI check where you'll have what your antifreeze is rated rate down to, what your tyre tread depths are, what your coolant levels are, what your battery alternator and starter motor outputs are. Um, uh, we check your DPF levels, blah, blah, blah. <coughs> Speak to us, I can run you through it all. Uh, door card, as you can see, driver side, pretty clean and tidy, a little bit of wear on your handle there, no major drama there, is it? Electric windows and mirrors. Door shuts all looking clean and tidy. Entry sills and plastics on this side all clean and tidy. Flooring this side, actually for the miles, is in exceptionally clean condition. Normally they've got a hole in the floor here. Uh, pedal rubber's not bad. Uh, only downside to the interior here is... God, fuck, burnt somebody smoked in the, in the company van, haven't they? It's like, I should get shot. Uh, anyway, seat, overall good condition, but it does have that burn on it there, okay? Um... Inside it, got a 68 mile an hour speed limiter. What a pain in the arse. Uh, speak to me nicely, we can get it removed, okay? Um, don't, unless you don't want it removed. So I'm not gonna remove it unless you say you want it removed, all right? Some people like them, some people don't. Dashboard illumination, headlamp levelers, electronic stability program, turn your reverse parking sensors off. Buttons on the end here when you through your computer system in the van. Wipers are on this stalk. Obviously keys. Um, turn the ignition on and it's not saying it's due to service. I suspect it may have had an additional service we don't know about, but assume we'll do one on it. Um, firing it up, everything fires up nicely. No warning lights other than to tell us that the handbrake is on on the vehicle. The steering wheel itself, a little bit of wear on the steering wheel, nothing major. Horn on the, is on the centre of your steering wheel here as well. Left hand stalk, twist for your side lights once, main lights twice, main beam pull it back to wall, or main beam push it away from you. Um, and uh, indicators obviously are up and down. Uh, I've mentioned about a USB point, we'll repair that for you. Uh, we've got another USB point power here, we've got a 12 volt power over here. We have a DAB FM AM stereo with Bluetooth telephone and Bluetooth music. Heater controls, it does have stop start technology on it. Uh, and then we have your six speed manual gearbox. 
We have a cup holder over here in between your seats, all looking pretty clean and tidy with no old McDonald's or anything. Eco button obviously makes the vehicle slightly more economical, but slightly less powerful when you're using that button. Um, and yeah, that's about it really. Um, one owner from you, warranted miles, a good history with it, nice specification in the back, good work van, isn't it, basically. Uh, nice with the racking, nice with the additional security, nice with the inverter in it. Um, in good overall condition, to be fair, for the age of it, isn't it? There are 60 photos of this van on our website. Our website is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the centre of the country, offering you nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. Feel free to give us a call on 01905 672 080 or email us at sales at vanstoday.com. Now, as you should do, but most people don't, check out our reputation online. We have reviews on Google, on our own website, vanstoday.com, on Facebook, uh, we're on LinkedIn and Instagram as well. Um, spade to spade, as I say, we sell most of the vans off the videos with no complaints, uh, so certainly none so far. Uh, and there we go. Um, that's me. Uh, banging on a bit too much. There's 16 minutes of your life you're never going to get back. But hopefully if you are interested in this van, it will give you a good idea of exactly what it is that you buy. Thanks for watching and speak to you later. Cheers.